The bloodshed in Bitcoin this week, the cryptocurrency hitting its lowest level since May. Prices getting ever so close to the key 7,000 level. Among the possible explanations for this crash, China, which had promised to crack down on illegal tr uh, trading platforms. So are we in for a long-term pullback here? in Bitcoin. BK, what do you say? I actually don't think so. I think the good odds are that this week and this sell-off here uh, was an important low. So I, I think there's a couple different things going on. You mentioned that you know China is cracking down. There was some speculation that China might unban some of the cryptocurrency trading. But if you look at the fundamentals underlying Bitcoin at this point in time, I look a lot at addresses, right, and address growth. And what we're seeing over the last 30 days is we're seeing growth in addresses of about 5%, but the market is pricing in a decline in addresses of negative 3%. So it's mispriced here. Fundamentals are improving on a sell-off. So I think that's why the odds are stacked that this is probably a low. When you say fundamentals are improving on the sell-off, what exactly yeah. does that mean? So, so, I mean, if you look at any of these currencies, any currency, it works just like a social network. It's the network effect, right? So you want to have new users. So when I look at addresses, you think about those as MAUs, right? The monthly average users that we look at for Facebook or for Twitter or that type of thing. So if you see those increasing, those are positive fundamentals, and that's what's happening in this case. Hmm. How much of a correlation do you think there is? It's more and more with gold now. And it's more and more with Powell. When Powell is thought to be uh, cutting rates, and now we're in a, a sort of a, a system-wide foundational level for rates. We're not going any lower. We're not going any higher, basically. But it seems like that's a major headwind it's, for Bitcoin. Well, I'll tell you, the, the ma global macro players have been in Bitcoin more than they ever have been. So more and more, it is starting to be a macro trade. We saw a lot of activity around the Brexit votes. We saw a lot of activity around some of the ECB and the FOMC meetings. So, yeah, your observation is absolutely right. It is getting a lot more correlated with the global markets.